And finally, let's talk about uh, reconform. The reconform script uh, is useful when you have uh, the compositions and the artists have created uh, some versions and you want to either twiddle with the edit in Premiere or you want to simply take a look how it all fits together. So first, uh, again, you have to point the script to the rendered files and I know that the render files are here. And you have three options. You can replace with rendered files, you can update renders to the latest version and replace renders from another directory. Right now I'm going to uh, replace with uh, replace compositions with rendered files and I'm going to actually do it in a new composition and add the suffix reconformed here. The render files I'm going to import to a new folder called renders. Now I have to only to make sure that uh, the core name is going to be uh, proper. So I, I can now select a composition here or here and now using this button I'm going to copy the name here and now I'm going to push this button twice to remove the numbers that uh, are present in the uh, core name. This option is going to look for the highest version number in the directory. I'm going to uncheck it for now to later illustrate it. And if your artist's output is in image sequences, then uh, make sure that this uh, checkbox is uh, is checked. Uh, I don't have this one, so I'm going to uncheck it uh, for better performance. And uh, ignore prefixes in the file name is going to only look for this core name in the middle of the file name. If, so if you have like renders from Resolve that has like V1 something something and then the core name uh, is going to import them as well. So right now uh, I need to make sure that my composition is selected so I'm going to select this composition and also I'm going to deselect uh, the layers because if I had uh, a number of layers selected it's, it would only look for this uh, to, to replace these uh, layers. So I'm going to deselect everything and now everything is fine so I'm going to hit proceed and as you will see in a moment it's going to import the files, job finished, excellent, and now all the compositions are changed with appropriate renders. Great. So now let's uh, say these are all like first, second versions, and uh, now I'm going to update the renders to the latest version because I know that the latest version have arrived. And I'm going to use uh, to do this in this active composition. And again, I'm going to import the renders and nothing really happens here except I'm going to click on the look for the highest version number and now it's going to look for the shot which has the highest uh, uh, version number at the end of the file name. So now let me hit proceed and uh, see, watch the, the versions being updated here. And uh, let's move this to the side. And as you can see, there are some changes that were created by artists. Excellent. So now this uh, whole thing has been um, moved to Premiere and then uh, sent for grading and the colorist uh, exported uh, the renders from Resolve. Now I have uh, a separate directory that I'm going to now here point the script to and I'm going to do this in a new composition and I'm going to add the suffix graded. I'm also I also want to create another folder uh, for uh, for the for this footage so in the footage I'm going to create a folder graded and I'm going to point the script to this folder. Uh, if you simply type the name graded, uh, then the folder would be created in the project root folder. I don't want this, I want to have a specific directory that it points to. And now I need to select proper composition first. And it's done. Let's open this composition and how does it look? Okay, everything looks great. Let's grade it. And now I want to move this to Premiere uh, just to showcase you the flexibility that these scripts afford you. So I'm going to close this uh, panel. I'm going to select all Control A, Control C, or Command A, Control Command C, all the, the shots here. 
I'm going to move to Premiere where I have already made a sequence for this edit and Ctrl V and uh, or Command V and wait for the uh, for the paste. And as you can see, my edit is uh, now in place in Premiere, and I can do my standard editing or slipping and sliding, and I have. I, I do have uh, quite a lot of flexibility here to work with uh, the edit if I need to. And uh, this is how I believe Dynamic Link should work from the beginning. So there you go, Dynamic Link as it should be.